uh, I'm going to discuss the, some important sparse SQL functions. These functions are very helpful to transform the data. The first one is a concat doublet function. The concat doublet function is used to concatenate the multiple strings together. Okay, with the specified delimiter strings. Uh, uh, if you want to concatenate the any strings right with the specified delimiter, the concat doublet function is very helpful. So to showcase the functionality of this concat doublet function, I'm going to create the one table. The table name is here employee names. So with the two columns, first name and last name, and the data type is string here. Let me uh, run this query. Okay, table is created successfully. So I'm going to insert names into the employees uh, name table. Okay. Let me run this query. Okay, I successfully inserted three records into this uh, employees names table. Now uh, let me uh, execute this uh, SQL query. So I'm using the concat doublet function, concatenating the first name and last name okay uh, with uh, uh, comma delimiter so this column uh, this function will combine the first name and last name uh, values uh, together with uh, comma delimiter sub separator here let me go this sql query okay you see uh, the first name last name is combined with the comma delimiter here okay so uh, we'll move on to next function the next one is uh, extract the first value right within the window frame right so you can use this first value the window frame basically defined by the over class okay uh, and same thing for last value also if you want to retrieve the last value within that specified windows frame so we can uh, extract the last value by using this last value function so in the uh, in fact to showcase this functionality of this uh, first value last value uh, uh, functions right i'm going to create this uh, sales order table with the two columns order date uh, date data type and uh, order amount double data type here let me create this table okay table is created successfully so uh, i'm inserting this record so into the sales order table so for example the date 2022 0101 uh, there is a order amount is uh, 100 and same same day there is a order amount of 150 and same thing uh, 0102 there is a order amount 75 200 right for each day there are two records are uh, there are two order amount numbers so from this uh, information we'll try to identify what is the what is the first value within that windows frame and what is the uh, last value within the defined windows frame let me uh, insert this data Words are inserted successfully uh, we'll... so this is the query uh, we are going to discuss now how first value and last value functions uh, will work okay the first value uh, basically i'm passing the first value function the order amount from the order amount column we will get the first value within that window frame uh, windows frame nothing but here uh, we are defining the windows frame based on the order date right whenever you see order date is matching for multiple values so that uh, uh, um, values are nothing but one of window frame so within that we have, within that uh, uh, records you will get the first value okay and same same thing for last value also so within that windows frame you will get the last value so let me run this query i will show you the data okay if you see uh, this is the order date 2022-0101 from this within this order date there are two records two order amounts 100 and 150 right so for this this is the one of the window frame because these values are matching right from this windows frame you see the first value is 100 that's why the first order amount is coming from 100 and second value last value is 150 so that's why you see last order amount means the last value written function last value function written the 150 order amount here okay uh, let me move on to next function the next function is the, the pivot operation in sequels are used to transform the data from the row wise format to the column column wise format the pivot operation in the sql are used to transform the data from the row wise format to the column wise format okay so to showcase the uh, the pivot uh, function uh, functionally right i'm going to create the one table okay student scores let me uh, create this table
okay this table is created successfully now i'm inserting the data into the student's course okay so i'm inserting the uh, this is a student id this is the uh, subject uh, and this is a, their score 90 85 right mass 90 english 85 same thing for a second student mass 78 english 78 sorry from this uh, uh, values we are going to create the pivot okay we are going to create the pivot table let me run this query to insert the data into the student scores okay uh, the six records are inserted successfully here let me scroll down right so this is a sql query uh, so i am selecting the student id subject and score from the student scores in the inner query so outer query i am applying this pivot in the pivot query i am in the pivot function i am defining the maximum score for this subject so maths as a math english or english these are the coming as a labels okay and uh, all the the values uh, uh, will come by all the, the right now if you see above one right this math and english is is a rows here these are the rows math english is the rows right so we are converting that rows into the columns here labels math and english from the each math and english and for that particular student we are trying to identify what is the maximum score okay let me run this query okay you see this is a student okay student one student one uh, student id one uh, maths he got 90 uh, 90 and english he got the 85 marks right same thing three um, student id three he got the 88 17 the whatever rows are there right in the tabular format we are converting into the we are converting uh, that into the column base here that is the pivot function so let me uh, scroll down uh, there is one more one more function explode basically explode function is to transform the array or map columns into the multiple rows where each row contain the one element or key value pair okay if you essentially explode the elements of the collection into separate rows so you want to work with the individual elements or key value pairs right then uh, explode function is very helpful okay to showcase this explode functionality i'm creating this one table demo orders let me create this table okay this table is created successfully now uh, now i am inserting the uh, uh, this records into the demo hotas table so the order id is one here so from one order id i am creating one array uh, with uh, multiple uh, products right with the multiple uh, product ids uh, a123 b456 c789 this entire this products are associated to one order id 1 and second uh, record uh, 2 the order id is 2 and the array i am going to create the one array uh, with multiple values uh, d123 and e456 this is one of the product ids associated to the order id 2 same thing from order id 3 I'm keeping the only one value f123 so uh, so what happened so i defined this product id's array data type right so this will uh, store as a collections into the product id's column okay let me uh, insert this data into the demo orders table okay this table is uh, this values are inserted successfully then after so uh, now in this query, I'm using the explode function to convert this collection into the multiple rows. So what will happen after I apply the explode function to the product IDs, right? This, uh, the collection, so the multiple values uh, within that product ID is divided into multiple rows. Let me run this query. See, the we have the order ID. So earlier data, the order ID is uh, associated, this, this products, A123, B456, C788 is associated with one order ID. It is a one of the array column, right? So after using the export function, it is divided into multiple rows. One um, collection divided into multiple rows. All these rows are associated with one uh, order ID here. 